Hello, I'm Eric Snodgrass, and thank you for watching this Ag Forecast video for South America, brought to you by Nutrient Ag Solutions. Over the last month, we have been discussing uh, the extensive drought in parts of southern Brazil, extending from southern Mato Grosso down here through Mato Grosso do Sul, Parana, Santa Catarina, and even pockets of Rio Grande do Sul. And I don't want to also leave out parts of Sao Paulo. Now, a lot of the reason for this drought, we can kind of just list off the reasons. The uh, Antarctic Oscillation, the AAO, went positive. We saw the MJO go way out there over into phase 8, 1, and 2 at very high amplitude and then swing back around to the other side uh, of, of, of the ocean here. Uh, and then at the same time, we saw the monsoon, the monsoonal flow weaken and become more directly out of the east rather than pulling into the tropical moisture to the north. And the net effect of that was just to put down a lot of high pressure in this area. And that has really affected uh, the safrina crop grown in this area. Now, I just to make sure that everybody that watches kind of knows where they grow this crop, this is Brazil's total corn production. So remember, there's two separate seasons here. If I understand it correct, I believe about 70% of the corn crop is a safrina or second crop. And uh, talking with a good friend of mine, Arlen Suderman, we was talking just about the shifts we've seen over the last decade plus, and more and more of that's being grown farther and farther to the north in Mato Grosso. So as you just look at this figure, this is where Brazil's total corn production comes from. And you can see that if we add it up down here, we've got better than 40% of the crop in the south uh, that has been under some sort of drought stress. And there's been other pockets of drought stress in Goiás, in Minas Gerais, and Bahia, all these other regions here uh, that, uh, that grow this crop. So it's been a far less than ideal situation. Now, over the last week, let's just go ahead and watch this. We're going to play this once again here. We've seen some scattered showers move through the area, so right in theory, back on the 15th. But outside of that, we don't see much at all. I mean, this has been a very dry go of it here for much of the last week. But things are starting to shift around and change. We need to talk about that. Let's begin first with what the MJO is doing. This is just the overall tropical dynamics. Now, what we do here is we're lining up our map on the bottom here with the time series above. So we start to see that, notice in this area, we're gonna be seeing more suppression in MJO phase one, two, and three. And right now where the MJO is currently moving over phase four and five, see that? We expect it to transition and start to, it honestly is gonna fall apart a little bit, but the idea here is that once we get out there past this weekend, we're gonna have better chances of allowing the air to rise over South America. At the same time while that is going on, the Arctic Oscillation Index, which remember, throughout April and into May has just wanted to stay well above average, uh, is now currently down here in negative territory, and the forecast envelope appears that it's going to stay in that area. And why we think about this is because in the month of May, this is the correlation with precipitation rate. It is negative. So what that means is, if the Arctic Oscillation is negative, this would increase the chances of precipitation in this region. And that's what we're starting to see. And the reason how this, or how this all comes together, I should say, is in the manifestation of low pressure and a more frequent wave train of, of systems coming through Argentina. Now remember, Argentina's, this is mid-latitude weather down here. We're at 40 degrees south to 30 degrees south. This is like the mid part of the United States, just in the other hemisphere. So what I see is as we go through the weekend, this is now Saturday, there it is, that low that goes just here uh, near Buenos Aires, it will have a trailing front that will be bringing precipitation into Mato Grosso do Sol and Parana, Sao Paulo, and then farther to the south. And then as we progress forward, looking at these pressure patterns, you can now see the influence of the negative phase of the Antarctic Oscillation. You see more lower pressure down here. And as a result of that, we just tend to see lower pressure moving through southern Brazil. So even into next week, we have better chances of rainfall. Now, will this undo the longer term damage that has been done? I, I think it's too late in the season for that to occur. But with persistent lower atmospheric pressure through the end of May, we will be seeing above average precipitation in this region and extending into western Mato Grosso as well. Let me show you what I mean. This is the operational European run. So we'll start to see that precipitation coming in. Here we are on Friday, so it's in this part of Argentina. And then as we work our way into Saturday, and even into early, well, late Saturday and early Sunday, that's when we have our best chance at returning these scattered showers and storms into this area. Now, playing this forward, now, to be honest, we're out there pretty far in an operational run, but you then see just later more and more coming in. Where is it dry? Well, Bahia, Tocantins, Goyas, Minas Gerais, and eastern parts of um, 
of Mato Grosso. So there's still a hole, but we filled it in a bit farther to the south with those shifts in the pattern, which we picked up on some signals of those changing, but now we've got a better picture of what's going on here. Going out into week two, and this is where I'll finish up, you continue to see this area with the lower atmospheric pressure and better chances of precipitation. We're drier here, and we're drier than normal as you get back over into parts of Mato Grosso, getting into the beginning of June. So while this is kind of maybe putting a bit of a Band-Aid on the, the drought situation in southern Brazil, we're going to continue to struggle in eastern Brazil and pockets of central Brazil. So we'll wrap it up there. Have a good weekend, and we'll give you another update on Monday. Thanks.